I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California, California of the past. Of the past. Hi, my name is Arlene Bernholtz, and this is my dog, Skippy. He is actually a pet therapy dog for an organization called Love on Four Paws. I became affiliated with the organization when I learned that my dog is a Tibetan Spaniel, and that the Dalai Lamas always gave Tibetan Spaniels to guests that were very special to them. They were bred to be watchdogs of the monasteries, and there's all kinds of little legends about them, how sometimes the monks might take them and put them under their robes and the dog's paws would actually turn the prayer wheels. But these are just legends. Skippy has been working for 11 and a half years in the area. He works at West Hills Hospital. That's where he started out after training first at Shriners Hospital in Los Angeles. The training was pretty extensive. The dog has to be able to not respond to people lunging at him, the sound of wheelchairs, people walking with walkers, and the fire alarm in the hospital. And uh, he did really well, and he's been on the road ever since. He also works at All Saints, which is a hospital in the Sun Valley, North Hollywood area, where some of the children and adults there have never even seen a dog because they've led very isolated lives and they've been hospitalized for many, many, many years. Some of the patients cannot move their arms or legs, but when they see the dog, they just brighten up and I take their hands and they pet Skippy. Uh, we also visit a retirement home for nuns near Mount St. Mary's called Sisters of, jo Sisters of St. Joseph of Candelay. And they really enjoy visiting with him because being in the convent, they were not allowed to have dogs. So, we go there and they really have a nice visit with him. We also do various speaking engagements, sharing the work that we do in the hospitals and retirement homes with organizations in Calabasas like the Kiwanis Club, the Rotary Club, and the Rotary Club of Calabasas. We've also gone nearby to the Optimist Club of Woodland Hills, and people are always interested in his story and what he and other dogs do. Our organization, Love on Four Paws, is based in Rancho Palos Verdes in California, and there's approximately 150 people who volunteer their time to take their dogs to a variety of hospitals in the area. It is an awesome impact. We actually have dealt with uh, patients who've had strokes who were not moving, suddenly would start to move and interact with the dog. A funny incident actually took place with um, a relative of our current mayor, James Bazajan, his aunt had had a stroke and we went to see her and Skippy is able to get in bed with all the patients and she was playing with him. And about a month later I ran into her son and I said, how's your mom? And he said, well, how do you know she was in the hospital? And I said, well, Skippy and I got to visit her and played with her and he goes, oh my God, we thought mom was hallucinating, talking about a dog getting in her bed. So that's been kind of a fun story and an example of some of the joy that we bring. We also visit the Grossman Burn Center. We recently visited a patient who was in the hyperbaric chamber and he was able to look out and smile and see the dog even though we couldn't touch each other. And um, so we enjoy sharing him. He brings a lot of comfort to people. I have to say probably my favorite place to go is All Saints where it's difficult for the children to move because so many people don't visit them and this really brings a lot of joy to their life and you can see the smiles on their faces when he comes into the room and is able to get on the bed and it's a difficult place to visit my first visit I decided I was only going to be a substitute and I needed to go there at least one time but the first adult patient I saw reached across her body to pet Skippy and this woman had not moved and the whole staff got excited and they come running in to look at him and uh, she speaks Spanish and I speak very little Spanish but enough to communicate and so she has become one of our favorite patients. We've been visiting there probably for about four years now and I am a regular at that place because it's very touching and very moving to help others 
who just by nothing you can bring them a little joy? Well, learning about the history of Tibetan Spaniels and the connection with the Dalai Lama, who I do believe in a lot of his practices, we thought what a wonderful way to give back our dog to the community. And uh, that's how we got involved. We called the organization. They, there was a picture of the volunteers on the, in the lobby at West Hills Hospital, and I contacted the volunteer coordinator to see how we could become part of that particular program. And then several times a year, they have training sessions and um, approvals to work for them. And once you work for Love on Four Paws, you have made a commitment it, you cannot just say, well, I'll bring my dog when I feel like it. You've made a firm commitment to be there, to show up. And <clears throat> if you can't, for whatever reason, they will send someone in your place. They're very reliable. And um, we've enjoyed working with them. It's funny because I work by myself, except when I visit the nuns. And in 11 and a half years, I've only seen other workers at a gathering at a picnic once a year or when I see the nuns. So it's strange to be involved in a group this long and not really be interacting with um, other people. A lot of the hospitals have teams of four to six people that will go through various floors, but West Hills only has three floors, so that was pretty easy. And I've worked there in the past in the emergency room on the graveyard shift, so I knew a lot of people there, so it was a very comfortable environment for me to start working with Skippy. Thank you.